hello, we're back. And my housemates are officially in the house, so I'm not gonna be speaking very loudly. Fuck it. Today I was gonna wrap up my August. It's currently in the middle of September, so I'm a bit late. So I thought we would just wrap up August now. So let's go. First thing I read in August is, uh, well, I didn't finish it, but it's a short story collection called An Evil Man by Hans Alfredson. And um, it's a short story collection and my dad gave it to me while I was at his house to read. It's a Swedish short story collection from the 1980s. It takes place in 1930s in Sweden. And it's about like relationships, morality and responsibility. And it was fine. I didn't really give it a story reading because I didn't finish it. I only read two of the short stories. Yeah, that was the first one. Very thrilling. The next one I read was Women on Top by Michelle Miller, which is a short story collection following women on the path to satisfaction, whether that satisfaction is like love or sex or work. I gave it 1.5 stars. Unfortunately, I did not like it. I felt like it had the potential to be really good, but it wasn't. I semi-liked two of the stories and basically hated all of the other ones, and mostly because all the stories were bashing women. It's also shaming women for being different than the protagonist of every single story, which kind of sucks. And then despite the title's attempt to convince us otherwise, it literally just revolves around men. Next, we have Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I have a full review of Twilight up right now. I will link it in the description below if you want to see it. If you don't know what Twilight is about, which I am convinced that most people at least have an idea of, but nonetheless, it follows Bella Swan in her move from Arizona to a small town in Washington state and her meeting and relationship with a certain Edward Cullen who turns out to be quite interesting. And I gave Twilight two stars. It's not really great. <laughs> Overall, kind of boring. Bella's kind of a bitch and relationship is really abusive. Um, but again, I will have the full review linked below if you want to see that. The next one I read, I got an e-arc off on NetGalley. It is One of Those Days by Andres G. Liva. I don't know how to pronounce that. It is a graphic novel about three friends who all fear the end of the world and when they are then told that the end of the world is coming, they all band together to prepare for that, but not everything is as it seems. I gave this 3.5 stars. I thought it was uh, really cute. Mostly I gave it the stars for the art rather than the story. It handles trauma in a really interesting way, but it was kind of difficult for me to follow the story, which kind of uh, sucks, obviously, because I would have loved to be able to follow the story. I just didn't get it a lot of the time. Next up, I read uh, Tomodachi no Haznasi by uh, Katsune Kawahara and Aji Jamakawa, and this is about the two friends Mo and Aiko. Mo doesn't want to date anyone who um, won't put Aiko before her or the needs of Aiko before her. When Mo then breaks the heart of a boy, that boy's best friend goes after Aiko. And it's a really like sweet, cute thing about like friendship and just it's very cute. It's a manga and it's just one volume, which is sometimes really refreshing with mangas because you don't feel like you're uh, committing to like years and years of reading. And I really enjoyed it. I did find that some of the friendships were kind of queer coded, but I'm also not sure that's just me applying things like a Western standard to things or whatever. It's simple and cute and I gave it 3.5 stars. Next up, we have The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang and it is about Stella who is diagnosed with AIDS and she has a hard time interacting with people specifically when it comes to sex and relationships and so in order to practice she decides to hire a male escort Michael and then everything kind of takes off from there. I gave this four stars. I loved this book. Perfect like gateway for me to get into romance because I'm really scared of romance. It was cute and sexy and it was well written and I am so excited to read The Bride Wars so soon. So the only thing I kind of have to say is that like the lack of communication between Stella and Michael got like a bit too repetitive for me in the end. Like we could have had a few less chapters without happening but nonetheless I love Stella. I love Michael. I thought it was a really really good book. Next up we have Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed and it is a about Amira who babysits the young Briar and one night she's called to take the kid to a grocery store while her parents deal with some things in their house and at this grocery store she is accused of abducting this child of kidnapping because she's black and the kid is white. Well the whole situation does not go as far as it could have. The dad of Briar comes to pick her up and explains that that is actually their babysitter and stuff but then comes the whole thing where Amira's boss Alex is determined to make it up to her. It's sort of like this like exploration of like being fake woke or like being like performative wokeness and uh, support and stuff like that. So I gave this book five stars. I loved it. I flew right through it. I didn't know it was going to be this 
type of book, but it was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend it. Yes, I am honestly regretting I didn't read it sooner. So, um, my last book for August was Case Closed Volume 5 by Gosho Aoyama. If you don't know, I'm currently rereading Case Closed. I read a lot of them when I was younger. I think I got to around volume 24, 25, because that was all that translated into da Danish at the time and everything I could get at my library, but I'm currently rereading it and I'm loving it. Volume 5 is so good. It is about several murders. One of them has a murderer with a face covered in bandages, which makes it hard to figure out who it is. And then it's murder in a karaoke bar, which is even cooler. Gave this five stars. I generally tend to give Case Closed five stars because I am highly entertained the entire way through and I love it. They're just so fun. They're a little bit scary and the mysteries are really fun to like try and figure out. And it's been long enough since I read it that I can actually not remember who did it. All right, that was my August wrap up. I'm currently in the middle of September, so I'm not gonna tell you too much about what I'm reading, but I hope you have a really good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.